How's it going out there, Willionaires? Welcome back to another Thrill of Will review. It's fall. It's festive. It's October. It's, dare I say, a little spooktacular. And that's why today we are reviewing the Burger King Ghost Spooky Pepper ah! Whopper. Oh, no. It's going to be a fabulous, a spooky, a scary review, especially if Burger King is as doo-doo fire as they usually are. But let's dig right in. We got the regular Ghost Pepper Whopper Combo just released yesterday. I'm so excited to dig in. I hope it's spicy. I really do. I want to give Burger King another chance. And it better be spicy. Let's just put it that way. You can't call something ghost pepper and not spice it up. So let's get right in here. I got, as of course, as always, in this beautiful Burger King bag, onion rings. We'll do a crunch test, of course, per use. And then we have my zesty sauce. Can't go wrong with a little zesty zest. And then here is the tour de force. The reason for the Halloween season. The entire, the wonderful, the fabulous ghost pepper whopper now i believe this has let's see here <laughs> it sure does look at this monstrosity <laughs> look at this jack-o-lantern orange president colored sandwich that is honestly one of the grossest looking things i have ever seen what else did you expect though this is burger king so it looks like we got an orange bun here. And look at <laughs> That's obnoxious. It looks like a Cheeto bun. We got an orange bun. And we got, looks like we got some spicy pickle chips. We got some bacon. We got some sort of super orange-ish, uh, spicy looking cheese. Maybe that's like nacho cheese or something. It doesn't look like there's any sauce. Maybe there is at the top here. But once I lift this up and look at my bottom bun, I don't think I see any sauce under the under the patty here. But it looks like we got maybe a little spicy sauce with the pickles. Maybe that's the ghost pepper sauce there. Um, I just really hope this is spicy. I love spicy food. And most of these places, when you get something spicy, it really doesn't add much of a punch. So uh, I'm just going to get right into it here. I'll do a first bite crunch test. I'll take a couple more bites, maybe a sip of my Coke. And uh, I'll kind of let you guys know kind of what I think here. I'm really excited about this, even though this is... Uh, terrifying so uh first bite crunch test going in and uh, i'll let you guys know what i think i'll see you on the other side Ooh. Okay. Hold up, Burger King. Hold up. I didn't know you were actually going to bring the heat this time. I didn't know you were actually going to create something unlike anything you ever have before. And that's a good sandwich. I didn't think you guys had it in you. I didn't think that you guys had it in you to make something that didn't taste like absolute dog doo-doo. Because that's usually what you guys do, is doo-doo. Burger King is usually just the worst. I didn't know you had it in you, Burger King. Turns out you can teach an old dog new tricks. Turns out all you need is an obnoxious orange bun. All you need is some spicy pickles. All you need is some actual heat. And all you need is a little bit of love. A little bit of fall time. Love is in the air. A little bit of mmm, mmm, mm. mm. I'm a little angry. Cause this is really good. It's actually hot. It's not overbearing. But this is probably for a fast food item. I can't complain about this. This is what I'm always saying. Fast food items that say they're spicy never are. And this legitimately is spicy. Like, it's probably like a six and a half, seven out of 10 spicy. Like, I need a drink of my, my, my Coke here. 
Mmm. I gotta give it to you, Burger King. It's good. The bacon, the crunch of the bacon, it passes the crunch test, obviously. The bacon and the crunch of the spicy pickles with the sweetness and the spiciness of that sauce. You can't really taste the cheese. This could just be a hamburger and it wouldn't probably make a difference at all. And the bun is, is novel. I don't think there's any real, I mean, let me see here. Eat this bread like a duck or something. It's just a hamburger bun. There's nothing special to it as far as I can tell. Um, so, I mean, the bun is novel. It's cool. It looks like Halloween. It's kind of disturbing looking, but that's fine. Tis the season after all. But this burger is actually pretty good. It has nice a nice spice to it. It's actually hot. I think it might be good if it maybe had like some onions on there. But other than that, I mean, this is, this is the best thing I've had at Burger King in a long time. Um, they keep up doing things like this. I might actually go there more often than when it's just a last resort or when they come out with something new like this um let's get the uh let's get the zesty sauce open here i'll give an onion ring test here and i'll give you a full a full breakdown a full score of this whole thing last time i got onion rings at burger king they were very disappointing so let's see let's see what we got here we'll come in close here for the crunch test mm, much better okay I don't know if this Burger King's just having a good day today. Or if last time I came, they were just awful. But this is actually very good. I'm very, very impressed by this Chester the Cheetah, Donald Trump looking burger I got here. Very impressed. Um, so yeah, for this combo, it was like $9.40. I feel like that's a pretty good value for what you get here. You get a Coke, you get a, you know, a soft drink, you get your, your burger with bacon on it. And you get your onion rings, your fries, your whatever. I feel like I give this combo. I hate to do this because I don't like Burger King. This is an eight and a half out of ten. There's really not much more you could ask for here. Is it a perfect burger? No. Could the meat be juicier? Yeah. But this is a fast food under ten dollar combo. That's fun. It's festive. Yeah, eight and a half out of ten is what you get, Burger King. I don't know where uh, where this burger came from here, but uh, you get an eight and a half out of 10. And uh, keep it up, keep up the good work, you know? Maybe someday you'll catch up to Wendy's. Well, that's all I have for today, everyone. Thank you all for subscribing. We're getting close to 100 subscribers. This channel is going so well. It's a dream come true. I love doing it for you guys. And I'll see you willionaires on the next one.